don't see if this is any good. She do be pretty thick. Good morning, guys. I thought I would talk to you while I'm doing my little stretch session since that is a part of my daily routine. Because if I don't stretch, then I literally can't move. I can't move, it's just painful. Today I'm going to be doing a Sunday in the life. It honestly just depends how my Sunday is based on the week I have ahead. I have a lot to do today because I'm working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 6A to 6.30 p.m. So that means all I'm gonna be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is working and sleeping. I need to, let's see, I have a list. I need to go to the grocery store so that I can meal prep for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday's lunches and for dinners because I don't really want to be cooking. I need to actually meal prep. Study for the HESI because that's coming up. Pay for the HESI because I've scheduled my HESI but I haven't paid for it yet. I'm also going to show y'all a bunch of goodies that I've gotten from the thrift store recently. It's just from like two trips combined. But yesterday I hit the jackpot. So I tried to do a vlog on Wednesday. It was my day off. So I was like, I'll do a day off vlog, but really mostly I just did what I eat. I didn't really do much except I talked a little and did a little update, but I'll just do that again today because I don't think I'm going to post that because I feel like this is going to be better of like me prepping for the week plus what I ate in a day. This morning I made a smoothie because last night I had a really bad dizzy spell and so I just want to make sure that I'm getting good nutrition today so I made sure there was enough protein. I have fruits, I have greens, I have fats. It did have a hard time blending and it's super thick because I don't have any bananas but I have frozen bananas and normally I do fresh bananas to give some sort of creaminess to it without being frozen but I needed this movie so I just went ahead and used frozen and used a lot of water. We shall go to the grocery store today and get bananas. And then I'll show you a grocery haul. And I went to the farmer's market yesterday. And when I have Saturdays off, I go to the farmer's market so that I can just get whatever else I need from the grocery store and not have to buy everything from the grocery store. But on the days I work on Saturdays, I can't do that. So you just gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna go to church this morning. And this is also one of my favorite stretches. You like just lay on your leg like this and then you just press in and I rock back and forth which kind of makes it look weird but you got to do what you got to do so yeah I'm gonna get ready for church and I'm gonna wear a new dress that I got yesterday from the thrift store don't worry I did laundry normally Sundays would also be laundry days for me too but I did that last night oh and I also would really love to work out but I'm not trying to set off another dizzy spell so today's just gonna be trying to be restful but also very productive. So I'm excited to spend the day with you. So this is the dress. It's like a little wrap dress. It was a little low. I could have pinned it up higher, but then I just end up putting this under it anyways. Literally all I do is curl my eyelashes. That's pretty much the only thing I would do. If y'all want like a whole morning routine, I'd love to do that. I'll just have to do it on a day that I don't have to work. Just because I'm not trying to get up any earlier on the days I have to work. But it's pretty much the same. But it's just a lot more rushed. I need to leave in eight minutes. I need to finish this, brush my teeth, put chopstick on, get my bag together, and then go. Alrighty. So I just got back from the grocery store. <laughs> and I'm also going to show you what I picked up at the farmer's market yesterday. Let's get into this. I'll just do what I got from the farmer's market yesterday so that I can get that out of the way. So first I got this broccoli. This is another container I got at another farmer's market, but I went ahead and washed this yesterday when I was washing my lettuce, so I just went ahead and stood it up in here. I got a tomato, a cucumber, and then I also got a head of lettuce, and I just go ahead and wash it and chop it up for the week. I have a ton of lettuce, and this is like a container that's meant for ventilation and so it makes your lettuce last longer or whatever produce you put in it. Last time I got lettuce from the farmer's market, it lasted me two weeks in this container. So we shall see if it works again. And then I also got two garlic cloves because that's just kind of an essential in your kitchen. And then from Walmart, I got some frozen strawberries, frozen spinach, and kale. I don't know if I've never seen the kale there because I've always gotten spinach. I didn't know they had kale. That was the same price in the same way as the spinach was. So I just went ahead and did that for some variety. And then I got some pita chips just because these are so good. I had the multi-grain ones, but I couldn't find those. So I just got the Simply Naked. And then I've been hearing a few people talking about tuna. So I'm gonna try it. We shall see. This is kind of random, but I got two cans of pineapple chunks just because, I don't know, I've been wanting pineapple and I don't really feel like dealing with a pineapple. I also don't want to get pineapple in a plastic container. And then this way I can also freeze it and like make 
Well, probably some drinks if you know what I'm saying. And then I got two oranges because I've been really wanting some citrus and a lemon either for the tuna or water or whatever. And then I got five bananas and I always get them individually because these are all the ones that are plucked off and are most likely to get thrown away. There you go. If you want to help the planet a little just by grocery shopping, literally just pick up the individual bananas. That's pretty much it. I didn't really have too much to get. So for this week, I'm going to make sweet potatoes, broccoli, and crispy chickpeas. So I have my broccoli. I already had sweet potatoes. I already have chickpeas that I got a big thing of dry ones, and then I just cooked them all at once, and they're in the freezer. Oh, that's what I was going to get. I was going to get whole wheat bread. I didn't get that. Because I thought it for one second, and then I was like, what the heck was I thinking of that I was almost out of that I should just get while I'm here? It was bread, but it's fine. The only thing that I would advise is that you freeze them on a like sheet pan before you put them in a bag so that they're not stuck together because now they're kind of all clumped together. All right, so for lunch, I'm going to be having, it's just like shredded turkey on top of nachos with baked beans and barbecue sauce on it. And it's so, so good. I'll probably have this like vinegar slaw on the side and maybe some cauliflower. My mom came up to stay with me this weekend and she brought that because that's what I was craving. And so that's what I'm gonna make because that's what I have. I don't put any dairy on it. The baked beans are like my condiment. I know they aren't healthy. I need to figure out a way to make healthy baked beans because Mm, baked beans are so good. I didn't buy this from the farmer's market, but someone back home grows these, and so my mom brought that to me. And my Brita I got from Facebook Marketplace, so it was secondhand, which I love because I obviously needed a, I know, as I pull things out in plastic, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, all right? I just needed a way to filter water, and I didn't want to buy a new one, so there you go. I'm gonna warm up turkey and some baked beans see this is the kind of turkey it's basically like barbecue style but turkey instead of pork and these baked beans mm -hmm. and i use these lightly salted restaurant style tortilla chips from walmart so i like that they're lightly salted when you try regular chips compared to this they taste super salty i'll just get all them bad boys spread out then let's spread the beans. No telling how much sugar is in these beans, but whatever. And the same place we get the turkey from makes this really good coleslaw. I'm pretty sure it's probably just vinegar and sugar, but it's freaking so good. Then you gotta put the barbecue sauce on it. And then if you thought this couldn't get any more southern, we got some sweet tea to go with it. Yummy. I'm gonna enjoy this. Watch me something. I'll be back. Whenever, I don't know. Now I'm just eating some chips and beans. Okay, so now it's actually time to uh, do some work because I've just been watching YouTube for a hot minute. It's now one o'clock, so we've got to get going. I'm gonna first see if the job that I am getting for my scholarship is posted because when I checked the other day, it still wasn't posted. Oh, okay, it finally got posted. So, clerk of support, nursing, yay. So this is going to be one thing checked off my list for the day. All right, so I'm gonna quickly apply to this job. I gotta get going, all right? I apply for the job and pay for the HESI. I just have to start on this guy and actually use setting for the HESI. All right, I have finishly, officially, I officially finished the HESI practice I was supposed to do for today. So that's good. Yeehaw. We're just gonna, <laughs> I feel like I'm like posing, but we're just gonna have a chat because I need to give my brain a break. And what better way to do that than just a chat? Basically, on Wednesday, I did like a whole portion of an update for the beginning of the video because you know I've been gone for another hot minute basically, but it's just because a lot happened. The week after I posted my last video, and I'll link that up here, it was just like a big update because I hadn't posted a video in like almost three months, maybe it was more than three months, I don't know. Basically, what happened was I filmed that video and posted it that Thursday, and then that weekend was Memorial Day weekend, so I went to a friend's lake house. Long story short, I got a minor concussion. I was planning on coming back that sunday but then i didn't come back until that tuesday i went back home went to the doctor then i came back that tuesday night and then wednesday i called the hospital again because i was like hey like i really want to start 
it had been like a solid four days, which I know was crazy. Pretty much all my symptoms had went away. It was really just like, I had super bad whiplash. My neck and like pretty much everything was hurting really bad except my head. So I called the hospital because I felt like I was pretty good. I just really needed to do three shifts that week because I really wanted to finish my training before my summer class started because I know I'm not gonna be able to work that much because it's five days a week for three hours a day for five weeks because basically the director wasn't answering my calls and she wasn't really answering anyone because she was on vacation. So I found that out. And then she was like, well, you wanna come in tomorrow? And I was like, mm, yeah. And so then I worked that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I had three twelves and Rebecca was home that weekend. So we hung out every moment that I wasn't working or sleeping. I basically had Sunday off. Monday, I went in for like hospital orientation. I went grocery shopping and an exterminator came because we had ants and I went and got some shoes because my shoes that I had were not cutting it. They were horrible. My back, my knees, my feet, like everything was killing me. I knew like I needed to adjust to like being on my feet for 12 hours, but I knew I also wasn't supposed to feel like that. So I got some hokas and they're really nice. Then I just went in for a 12 hour shift on Tuesday, except I was doing hospital orientation like in and out of that. And then I had Wednesday off and that's why I filmed that video because I was gonna be like, oh, day off. I ended up doing Pessy chapter 13 and then hanging out with a friend for a while, which was super sweet. And we went to a coffee shop and went thrifting and then I went and worked out and then I worked Thursday, Friday and then my mom came up Friday night and she stayed the day with me Saturday. We went to the farmer's market and I still don't have a washer and dryer. So I went over to my brother's house and washed everything so that I'm good for the week. Here we are today. You've seen all the things I've done. Let's go see the cute thing I got from the thrift store. I had a pretty successful thrift shop. It was like a week before school let out or something like that, but I got a lot of cute things then. These sweatpants are one of them. They fit really well. And they are a brand that I would not ever support without it being secondhand. So, yesterday I went to Goodwill to find a stainless steel pot slash pan skillet thing. Just something bigger because I only have little pans and I needed a big one that could kind of be a cross between a pot and a pan. But I found it perfect. I was like, I'm not looking at the clothes. <laughs> but then I did. As you saw this morning, I got this black wrap dress and then i got this dress it's american eagle and i just love the buttons on the front and there's two pockets in the front we love that i guess it's like kind of like sunflowers on it which i just <laughs> so sweet and then i've never owned a pair of overalls before and these are striped they're like shorts overalls and i just love it and they're like super stretchy too and then i'll show you what i got last time i went to the thrift store i got this like cute little picnic dress and then i got this freaking cute jumpsuit and i've never owned a jumpsuit before look how cute and then i got this like super random but it's just like super vintagey looking and i love it while my battery's about to die i just love it and it's giant and then i got these black polka dotted shorts and they have like a little scalp on them i literally had these shorts on yesterday when i bought them <laughs> these are kind of more dressier and you know i wear those polka dotted ones all the time and then these are my favorite find i got mom jeans finally except they have like a little scrunchy thing which is interesting with these rolled it's super cute but my other mom jeans split in the butt and so i haven't had mom jeans in like months and i've been missing them but i need to go charge this battery i guess i'll go work out while my battery is charging and then i'll see y'all later when i meal prep i promise i did actually come to the gym i just didn't film anything else all right so we have a little change in plans i went to the gym showered and now we're ready i'm gonna still meal prep for the week but i'm going out to dinner with sarah so that'll be fun i'm still gonna film my meal prepping because she's been on the channel before so it's not awkward this freaking candle smells so good i'll be sad when i burn through the last one because i won't be buying bath and body works candles anymore i'll just be buying soy wax so maybe someone make something that smells like more smell what I'm gonna do is I'm going to peel and dice four sweet potatoes and I'm going to cut up broccoli. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400. I'll have to do them separately because they'll be packed. I'll do a bacon shake, the silicone bacon mat. We gonna get to shopping. I think I'm just gonna wash these actually. It makes my life a lot easier. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so Okay, I need four. I forgot the camera. I was doing day in the life today. <laughs> I mean, you can be in it if you want to, but I just figured you were right of snacking in the shot. 
And then I put avocado oil on it and salt and pepper, and that's all I do. It kind of, you gotta get the oil all evenly dispersed if you don't I use think, much. Well, I just had to cook because if I wanted what I wanted, then I had to cook it. No, we can't say the name because then. Alrighty guys, so it is time to go to bed. Sorry I didn't show you me prepping everything for tomorrow, but all I did was put the sweet potatoes and the rice with my little bit of leftovers. I had like teriyaki chicken and rice, so I just put that with my leftovers. It was like barely anything. All I do is like put out my scrubs and my jacket, my socks that I'm wearing. So I don't have to think about anything in the morning. And then I just put all my stuff out, like my lunchbox. And then I have a cup with like all the things that go in my scrubs, my pen, my highlighter, my Sharpie, my scissors, a little notepad, and then my watch that I put on. I mean, that's pretty much all I do. It's 9.30, I really need to go to bed. I'm normally like in bed at this point. It was really good to see Sarah and talk to her because I haven't been seeing her a lot lately. So that was really good. I feel like I didn't really do much, but I guess we'll see when I edit this if this is worth posting. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. Let me know what videos you want to see. If you want to see any work or nursing related videos, whether that's like a work morning and night routine, or even if y'all just want to see like a morning routine that's actually more in depth because I do the same thing pretty much every morning. So yeah, I really need to go to bed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Good night.